today I am off to Ben Howard. Well, anyway, because I never know how to start my videos, insert fun little artsy shots here, I guess. Sup, is that better? Sup, sup, homies. sup, homies. Hey guys, it's Emma. So today is the day after the Ben Howard concert. I got back really late, but that's okay because I still want to sit and talk about it. So January 22nd, 2015, I saw Ben Howard at the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee. Getting all the specifics in there. Ben Howard is an artist that I have known about for a really, really, really long time. Well, not like I guess, I don't know. Uh, two years ago, I saw him on the Brit Awards and I saw that he was nominated in like his album and his song and he was nominated for a whole bunch of things and that's when I started checking him out and got really, really interested in him. And so I've been listening to his music for pretty much almost two years now and he's never toured in the US that I've known of. So this was like a huge deal for me and I was so, so excited. I love shows at the Ryman because the acoustics are awesome and it's one of those places where even if you're all the way in the back, there's not really a bad seat. So that was really great. We we're, I think these are the best tickets I've ever had at the Ryman and it was awesome. His show was really, really laid back and really, really chill. The weird thing was, is when he came on, he came on and I mean, his newest album is something that's really sad and really somber so that the show was kind of like that. But I kind of find his music something that you can slowly jam out to, you know, and just kind of chill out but the entire audience was sitting the entire time and no one stood up and it was really awkward because I wanted to stand up because I always stand up at concerts, I'm always that person, but everyone was sitting down so I was awkwardly in my seat like, okay, I guess I'll just sit and listen and that's kind of what I did. I just was like memorized with the entire thing like sitting like this and just like, and just embracing all of it. So good, his voice is really just, echoey and enchanting and it was so great and his band was really intense. There was one girl off to the side who played probably six instruments and was the jack of all trades and I was just impressed by her the entire time because she was really cool. Something that really stuck out for me is none of his lights were above his head. So the entire stage setup, he had a lot of smoke going on so that when he shone a light it was more like beams rather than a straight up light. And he used a lot of beams that went out into the audience so he would walk past them and create different patterns. But none of the lights were, I would say above six feet tall. So everything was like on stands and then pushing out behind him, which I never, I've seen effects like that before, but I've never seen an entire show do that. And that was really interesting and something kind of cool. And his first number, it was just like one beam behind him that was like orange and blue, it was really cool looking, and then slowly as the song progressed, it added more. So that was probably my favorite part of the entire show. between every song that he was telling them what were like, hey, we're playing this one next. And then like they would set up a little bit. So that was kind of interesting. So, but I looked up his set list online a few days prior and noticed that each day it was different. But now I realize how it's different is that he's telling them what to play like each time. It's really weird. Sydney making coffee in the back. <laughs> But overall, it was a really, really good show. He played a lot from his new new album, his second album. And my favorite album of his is his first album, just because I have a tendency to like music that grooves and is a little bit more upbeat. 
And so that's why I like his first album better. I like all the hits, except he didn't play Only Love, which I was kind of upset about because that's, well, my favorite song by him is The Wolves, but that's such a B-side that I knew he wasn't gonna play that. So I was like, okay, I'll bank on Only Love because he has to play that song, but he didn't. And it was really, really weird. So I. I love Ben Howard. I have so much more respect for him as a performer, seeing how he plays the guitar. I mean, he doesn't really play the guitar. It's just the way he manipulates it and works with it is so cool that it sounds different. And I was like, oh, I wish I could creatively play the guitar like that. starting to play another song and you could tell he was kind of struggling with it and then he stopped and was like oh f this and then left and that was the end of the concert so he literally left the concert unfinished which i couldn't tell if that was a gimmick or he actually messed up and was like oh screw it i'm just gonna go now i couldn't really tell but it was interesting to say the least <laughs> smaller theaters and I don't know how many cities he's going to but if you like really chill out vibe music and just kind of want a relaxing show to go to rather than like a raging concert I really recommend the show um if you want to dance around and jump to some upbeat stuff then I don't think this is the right show for that so that's kind of it on Ben Howard. I'm trying to post videos every Monday. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Remember to always stay positive and I will see you super super soon. Thank you.